This is lady. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. <clears throat> uh, are you in trouble? It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. That sucks. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. You better pay them. No. Why was your sister spared? Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. She's worth 5,000. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted. Transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. This sounds like a job for a specter. Uh, so I have to fix your mess? You got in over your head and you expect me to pull you out? This is easy money for you, Shepard. I've already found her. You just need to bring her back. Plus, you get to Except kill a lot of assholes in the process. It's a win-win. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Should we take him to, like, a, a pizza restaurant? Or, like, the nice, like, Anything Italian place? Anything you can place? tell me about the Mercs who have your sister? Pretty much like what you'd expect. A, Rough, sorry. dangerous, and well-armed. <laughs> Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. Um... Why me? Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a Spectre. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Okay. So, we're gonna, we'll take care of that later. But, um... Did that seem off to you? No. That whole exchange? No. Alright. Is there something off about it? Um. Is she selling, is she selling Shepard out to these guys? Is no, Shepard walking into but a you'll, trap? you'll see. It's a little weird. If you're not already going at it with that, this is a little strange attitude. Because all of it seemed a little too convenient. Um that she wanted specifically your help and that this crew happened to only spare this one person and that she happened to find who yeah that does okay um that that does all seem like an odd coincidence why was what was the deal with that screen because we just got ominous music when you pulled it up that was a mission we hacked oh. a computer and got a got a side quest out of it. Okay. And um, I'll pull it up in my journal later when we start doing side quests like crazy out in the middle of space. Okay. And um, I'll show you what that was. Sorry for skipping through a couple things. I do want to be a little expedient as to uh, spending our time on the Citadel so we're not spending forever. No, let's spend the whole game on the Citadel. I love this place. It's just so beautiful with their consoles and their people that want your autograph. Again, that's more sarcasm. We'll, we'll go back to that, don't worry. Okay, um, these two people, I think... Okay, these two. Yeah. Rapid Transit Bar Levon. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. If I want to see Magic Mike XXL, it's my decision. 
Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. Wait, what? My sister-in-law here Biotics. is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, time for this. Who asked you anyway? Forget it, Michael. I'm leaving. Damn it, Rebecca! I like how you're you meant to leave and then you just popped right back to where you were standing. I have no interest in pursuing that. I don't even care if it so, was worth experience. Okay, so was there something wrong with the baby or was did he want the baby to get biotic enhancements or I don't know, honestly. Let me let me go look at my journal. Um it's, this is gonna be a Citadel mission. Citadel Family Matter. It's a rare condition. Oh yeah, okay, so we just completed it then and there. Alright, that's fine. Well, what, what was it about? <laughs> we will never find out, because right. I just said I don't want to deal with it. That's That was my decision. So. If you're following along at home, we recommend you just play Mass Effect and do the stuff we're not doing for yourself. Of course, of course. Everybody has a unique experience in Mass Effect. That's what makes, so, that's what makes Mass Effect so massively effective. That is the title of the series. It does work out. He said it. In a further development in the Eden I literally had zero interest in getting in the middle of that conversation. Of yeah. At yeah. all. There are a lot, like, if I wasn't such a completionist, I would have left half of the side quests alone because this is really just Commander Shepard walking around and being like, Hi, I overheard your phone conversation that you shouldn't be having in public because it's clearly a very private matter. Well, they were loudly... But I'm going to help you fix this. Yeah. And they were just like, oh, uh, sure. Well, I mean, they were loudly arguing, and, like... Yeah, it's, it, it could be a potential danger if it escalates to, like, physical violence or something. You didn't know, going in, what the nature of their argument was. It could have led to something worse. Yeah, but they and were just like... In, and they were just like, oh, but the baby! Oh, it's about a stupid baby. Do, do whatever <laughs> oh, you want. It's, shit. It's your... That, the baby is your decision. Yeah. I'm not gonna get in the middle of that. I'm like, you two need to be adults. Just yesterday, somebody posted on my Facebook feed, um... Uh, basically one of those e-cards that's just like, oh yes, please, go on and tell me, stranger, about how I should treat my children when I'm walking around the mall. That's and I'm just like, yeah, I, I don't like being a guy that comes around and just saying, you know, you shouldn't be doing this, or you should do this. Or well, whatever. here's Emily White. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. Damn. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. What kind of help? What do you want me to do? I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you Modern social commentary. Side, I could crack the story. Uh... Hang on a second. This seems like something we should interfere with. We should. Because lives are on the line here. I'm not sure. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. I'm assuming this is a parallel to the real world crisis we're having with our air traffic controllers. What will this bug allow you to Maybe. pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? All right. Um, I'll try, I guess. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. <laughs> I read that as give me a hug. <laughs> Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. All right. Cool, we'll help her with that. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Let's go to. Well, I just, let's just go ahead and get that one done. 
Pristine locations. Wait. That was the... That's a CSAC. I'm dumb. Because I know where that office is, I think. It's all the way down there. Yeah. Okay. Are you not able to save anywhere on the Citadel? Yeah, I can save right here if I want to. Oh, it just wasn't it wasn't lit up. I didn't think you could. I think if it's you're when in... it turns gray that you can't use it. Yeah, if it if it turns gray, uh you I was I was just worried that like if something screwed up we'd have to do all the Citadel stuff over. In yeah. ME three, um when you arrive at the Citadel, there's one autosave for when you arrive, but when you use Rapid Transit or the elevators, it doesn't autosave again. The huh. only time it autosaves is when you enter and leave the Citadel itself. So I've actually lost progress because I thought I thought there was an autosave. And That's I shut weird. it off. And then there was another time my system just crashed completely. And I had to redo like almost a half hour worth of stuff. Yeah. So I don't, do not want that to happen here, because we've already had to deal with stuff like that. Yeah. Definitely. And it sucked. Alright, um... Let's see, planted the bug, so I'll go back to talk to Emily White. Her name is not Emily Wong, her name is Emily White. Because she's not Wong by anything. She's reporting on the <sighs> corruption. Ugh. I'm already getting readings. I'm doing it's a double face a palm. Story. You can't <laughs> see you it, so but I am. Help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It's a good cause. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. And she immediately and mysteriously disappears forever. Um, one of the possible outcomes of that side quest is telling her that you won't do it because, um, you think it'll cost the workers their jobs. Mm. And I don't think that's a true statement because the workers wouldn't know that you planted a bug there. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, uh, and I, I, the more I think about the quest in particular, I'm like, you know, this is kind of a good thing to do if it's true. Yeah, because lives are innocent lives are on the line. It's like we need more air traffic controllers because the shifts they're required to pull are ridiculous and have almost gotten planes crashed. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. I'm actually I'm not sure if there actually have been deaths related to it. I don't think so. I hope not. Have you ever watched Breaking Bad? No. Yeah, there's a thing about the dangers of people that are aircraft traffic controllers and not good at their jobs on that. Hmm. Hey. Well, we've had we've had literal like close calls on tarmac, and and like they'd have a plane take off and a plane land on the same strip at the same time, and they're like, "Oh, pull up, pull up!" Ready for Abort another landing? Ready for another adventure with Conrad? Let's absolutely do this. There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. First human specter. Uh, oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Right, Conrad. We talked a while back. You remember me? Wow. Guys must try to talk to a lady like, like you all the time, but you remember me. Oh, wow. It really means something. Um, hey, can I get your picture? Uh, It's uh, too bad he's not a romance sure. option, because no I'd actually kind of like to see how that goes. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. <laughs> the hell was that? Did he take your Thanks DNA? Again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Awesome. Awesome. I can't wait to see what happens when we see him next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Conrad. <laughs> yeah. About that. All right. Um. Cannot wait. The only thing I have left is I kind of want to go check the uh, shops to see if we can get um, our characters some new armor and i think those shops are over in the financial district no actually what's expat selling welcome back earth clan will you show me what you've got uh light armor human that's super expensive. assassin 
All do you need to be an assassin for that? Or oh wait, that's not a class. It's just the name of the armor. No. Let me try going to the financial district because I forget where the really good armors you can buy at low levels are. All the stuff around the Citadel right now is super expensive.